Good morning, everyone. I'm going to be foiling my shed door. Um, reason for turning the camera. There's a foil there. Um, I can't believe it. I just discovered an iPhone. You can't actually switch between the front and back cameras when you're videoing. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm foiling the door on the shed um, to give it a bit more... Um, insulation I suppose against the cold and the heat um, it's like a standard door so I ain't gonna be able to insulate it like I have the rest of the shed because of the weight on it because I think it just cause it to drop so I'm gonna have a go with this foil um, see what happens if not then I might have to look at a different door but anyway this is a, a start to finish video hopefully see ya I just wanted to show you the finished product of the um, foiling of the door. Uh, it looks alright. Um, hopefully it'll make a difference because I might put some stuff around the frame. I'll just show you that in a minute because I can't change the camera view unfortunately on this on the iPhone for some reason. Um, I'll also show you the uh, tools I used which was just the staple, the hammer staple gun or yeah, gun or whatever you want to call it. The hammer and just a kneading pad really for my feet. Uh, the main video is time lapse, obviously, because it took me a while to get it done, but yeah, hopefully you like it. And um, don't forget, if you do like the videos I'm putting up, please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for all your support for anyone who's watching all the time. And um, I will see you on the next one. This is the uh, finished product. Um, I must stop saying um on my videos. I apologise for that. So yeah, it's finished product. It did take a little while to do it. Um, like I said, I put, put on the time lapse video because it would have just been too long otherwise. It was pretty simple. I went for the stapling. I have seen people do the um, using grip film and stuff like that, but I just thought if, the, if it gets damaged or anything and I have to replace it, it's going to be bit of a mess so I just thought the stapling I've seen people staple it so and I think that's what people do when they use it in lofts and things like that so these are the tools I used so the hammer just to help getting the um, staples in if we're getting go quite home I was trying to be careful because that stuff does rip the um, staple hammer I think they call it I've used it for loads and loads of different things. I used it for a floor actually when I was putting the underlay down. And just the the um, screw fix, bit of free advertisement. Uh, yeah, just a screw fix mat for needling on. But yeah, that's it really. I've tried to obviously cut around the handle and things like that just to make it as insulated as possible being a shed. I haven't got any heating in here or anything. Um, yeah. And that's it. It's a finished product. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.